So me and a few representatives of Teatro Adventures have arrived at a undisclosed bush camp where we are staying the evening and we are going to go for a big dune drive tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't driven it yet. Um, I just know my car loves sand. So we are busy setting up camp, getting everything ready. We've cut firewood. It all pretty much feels like go. We've still got some people on the way as well. Um, it's around five o'clock now, so we'll probably start making a fire within the next hour, getting ourselves ready and then cooking some meat, trying to get a early-ish night and then get up nice and early. Let's go check this one out, guys. Okay, I guess it's my turn. One thing that I'm really worried about is the wheel angle sensors on these Cayennes tend to take throttle away if you go too steep. So I've never experienced it, but that dune is steep. So I am going to just rely on horsepower and very poor throttle control today and send it. Fun, bro. Always. Checking the the route, but man, this dune is steep, bro. Let's look at this, guys. Wow. Hey, bro. Ready? Yep. I think so.
I mean, today is nice, so it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. Thanks, bro. It must have been a yeah. good footage. Yeah, it was. <laughs> was it alright going there? Like, yeah, that was bumpy, but yeah. like, you know, once you get the hang of it. As long as you, you keep my foot in. The thing is, you have to just lean back. And so, yeah, so you can yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was cool. that was we good. can keep driving to there. There is a small lake still with water there. Yeah. These lakes, just amongst these dunes, apparently they're quite dry. I mean, you can see it's quite dry. Look at it full. How cool is that? Just a desert with an oasis in the middle of it. Boys have just come back from a drive. I said to them, I'm going to hold back because I'm running a bit low on petrol and I don't want to cause catastrophe out here in the middle of nowhere so uh, left them to it but they've just returned and I think we're going to start heading towards where we are camping this evening and there's some more people joining us apparently so I'm looking forward to meeting the new people and um, settling in for the evening again it's been amazing so much sunshine uh, nice nice bit of banter laughter it's just been all good all around The dunes are, are not as high as these ones, mm -hmm. but it's too far. So that's the light setup on the awning. I would uh, typically not run it as bright as this all the time, but for the sake of filming, I'll just turn it up all the way. Uh, they live inside the awning and I run it off the battery pack and there we have it lovely little kitchen area that uh, I just put a table down and my fridge and everything normally stands here and very 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 easy to live out of and obviously with the lights making it super cool So thank you for watching this episode guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It really was amazing driving those dunes today. The cars performed flawlessly. There was no issues with anybody getting stuck. I think we got a bit lucky with uh, rain over the last few days and the sand being fairly compacted. Even though it did feel by sort of midday with temperatures rising and the wind picking up that the sand actually did become a bit softer but we enjoyed ourselves and uh, we're gonna start getting ready to head on back to Auckland. Tomorrow is Sunday and then it's back to work on Monday, the old rat race. If you don't mind, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot to uh, get to those end goals. And uh, press the bell notification so you don't miss anything else uh, happening. This is ultimately the best Porsche off-road channel in the entire world.